these are absolutely some of the best filters that are on the market right now. Filtrate. You can download an app to remind you about every three months to go ahead and change them out. So the um, multi micro particle performance rating is 1900 and it's a premium allergen bacteria and viral filtrate high performance air filter and it's supposed to be the best in these categories here lint household dust dust mites mold spores pollen pet defender supposed to be better at smoke smog particles cough sneeze debris bacteria and viruses and then candle suit and other um, things from the environment here it's supposed to be good at how they look some of the other ones I've gotten are not as good of course this one is um, more expensive um, this is 13 and I'm gonna try to get these people to sponsor me because I use a lot of their stuff so, yeah let's go ahead and put it in This is the filter that I removed out. See how it's pretty dirty there. So I put all of those over here and put them in a bag. And they tell you which direction to put them in. So you want the airflow facing down.
Hi Molly Vlog Squad, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited you decided to click on this video. Today we're going to be talking about money. We're going to be showing, I'm going to be showing you all how I budget every month, mid-month for the following month, following the Dave Ramsey 50, 30, 20 rule. We're going to get into what that means momentarily, but if that's something you would like to see, stick around for this video and let's get started. The thing you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pen or some type of writing utensil. I like to use my Ceno notepad and it has lines on it, so that helps me to keep everything straight. And also you're going to need all the passwords to all your accounts and feel free to pause the video so you can keep up because I've already looked everything up and all of my accounts and then I'm just ready to rewrite it. Cause you get your bills all together and be able to look up when they're due and how much it is every month. Go ahead and let's get started. All right, find somewhere comfortable to sit so you can have access to whatever you need to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go over with the 50, 30, 20 rule is really quick. So this is off of the RamseySolutions.com website and I'll pop it up on the screen so you all can see it. So 50% um, is needs, 30% is wants, and 20% is savings. Okay, so that is what 50, 30, 20 is. Okay, okay so what you're going to do is get you a notepad or something to write on. I like to write um, on my steno pad, but I'm going to be transferring it here just for uh, demonstration purposes. So the first thing we're going to do is outline our our stuff. Okay, so you're going to draw two lines. And you're going to put the month at the top. So we are budgeting and writing our outgoing and income for March 2022. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is write my net income, what I bring in each month. So the first column is going to be the what, the next column is going to be the amount, and then the last one is going to be the due date. So we can do name, amount, do the so accurate, then you can use this as a reference each month because it shouldn't change for the most part. Okay, so then my income. So let's say hypothetically I am bringing in eight thousand dollars a month. I'm going to use a nice whole number. Okay, and say I know that that comes in on the first of each month. So I'm going to write one March. Okay, the next thing um, I'm going to do is write down my biggest, my largest bills to my smallest ones, my essentials to my non-essentials. So what are some essentials? Okay, housing needs. So I have a mortgage, so I'm going to write mortgage down, the amount, so it's $12.98 and 8 cents per month, and that's due on the first of every month. Okay, I have my vehicle. That is two thirty six fifty five per month. I have that drafted out on the first of the month. My utilities. My utilities are set up electric, gas, water, and sewer all together, and that fluctuates. But I haven't seen it above three hundred, so I'm gonna put that higher. And I couldn't log on to the website for some reason today, so I'm going to put it around the 15th of March with a question mark. Okay, my internet bill. If you hear noise in the background, it's my kids playing. My internet bill is $50.67 for high-speed internet. That comes out on the 2nd of March each month. My cell phone bill, and I'm times two. That is one hundred ten dollars even, and that comes out on the fifth of the month. My auto insurance is one twenty four fifty two per month, and that comes out on the first of the month. My security system is eighty dollars per month, and that comes out on the twenty fifth of each month. Life insurance is seventy three eighty eight, and that comes out on the fifteenth of each month. My furniture payment is seventy five dollars, and that comes out on the twelfth of each month. My YouTube premium is six dollars ninety nine cents. That is with the student plan, and that comes out on the twentieth of each month. My music is $15 a month and that comes out on the 25th. 
Adobe Pro is $31.49, and that comes out on the 20th of each month. And my gym membership at the Y is $36 a month. Okay, and then I'm going to put food in a separate category. And that's an S that's an estimated uh, I'll say six hundred dollars a month. And then I'm going to add all of that together on my calculator. So we have twelve ninety eight oh eight for mortgage plus two thirty six fifty five for vehicle plus three hundred for utilities plus fifty sixty seven eighteen cents three thousand thirty eight eighteen okay I'm gonna put out okay so that is the amount per month that I can that we're living off of com comfortably for a household of Three. Other sheet of paper, I'm going to draw a circle here. And so, according to Dave Ramsey and probably other people that's been doing this, um, half your income go to essentials or your needs. So, I'm going to put needs here. Okay. So, that's going to be 50% of my income. Okay. And then I'm going to do um, thirty percent are my wants, and then twenty percent is savings. Okay, and then my income. I'm gonna write that at the top. Is hypothetically eight thousand dollars per month. All right, so we're going to do half of eight grand. We know that that's $4,000, right? Okay, so I'm, for my needs, we have $3,038.18 for needs. Okay. My saving, so my wants, okay, so if I'm at eight grand a month, I'm going to put $8,000 times 0.3. That's how you do 30%. And that is $2,400 for my wants. I have to spend $2,400 if I choose to spend that much a month. Okay, if I do eight grand times 0.2, this is how much I should be saving per month. So I should be saving $1,600 per month. So I'm living beneath my, need, my means because four grand is what I have for my needs. So I'm going to circle this. Um, that's what I have. My wants 2400 and my savings is 1600 So we're doing pretty good with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the first, I have mortgage, car, So you all get what I'm saying, right? So 50% needs, 30% wants. Okay. 50% needs, 30% wants, 20% savings, okay? And this is really helpful for me to get a visual of what's going on because I don't always have an opportunity to go back to my notepad here. I can just stick it right here. That is, that is a way to organize and figure out what's going on with you financially. Leave a comment if you don't mind telling me like what you do for every month or how you handle all your finances, how you stay on top of it. And any other helpful tips that you have, just leave them in the comments so then our community can grow together and we can build off of each other's knowledge and continue to save and you know increase our financial literacy as well. So thank you so much for joining me for this video and I'll talk to you all in the comments. Bye.